So remember that all metals can be broken down into vibrations. They can be broken down into waves of color, waves of light. They can even be broken down into sound. All phenomenon contains these various factors. So through certain technologies, the frequency of gold itself can be projected into an environment. Think of an agricultural field and think of various objects positioned within the field in a way that produces a harmonious geometric pattern. This geometric pattern perhaps will be hexagonal in nature, representing the power of six, which is considered to be a solar number. Gold is considered to be a solar metal. The frequency of gold can then be broadcast from these devices in particular ways that create what you would consider to be harmonic effects. Different harmonics that are produced can create different changes in the behavior of the plants. So the frequency of gold can be, in a sense, paired with different versions of itself, different octaves of itself in a manner that will allow for certain geometries, certain effects to be created. And this creates ultimately a purification effect. It creates a resiliency. It will make the crops more resistant to disease. It will make them heal faster. The plants will be able to communicate internally with their inner being much more effectively in a more streamlined way. That's one example. But there's other examples. Some have advised the spraying of gold nanoparticles into atmospheres to combat things like global warming. This is something your scientists have considered. This is something the Anunnaki considered, although not necessarily for global warming. For them, it was a matter of pollution. They felt they had to combat the pollution of their planet with a type of heightened purity in their personal lives and within their society. So gold was hyper-emphasized as a symbol of purity. It was a symbol, a status symbol of being healthy, of being wealthy, and of being above the dirt, the grind, the pollution. So there were members of Anunnaki society that did not wear gold, that did not have access to gold. They are the ones who implemented the caste system that you're familiar with on Earth. These groups had to live in what you would consider to be the wasteland areas of their planet. They had to live amongst the polluted environments. The areas of the planet, the Anunnaki actually abandoned because of what they had done. They were in that sense more experimental than your species. Your species has many environmental regulations. They did not possess these things. So for them, gold was used as a technology to heal the body, to improve the neurology of the body, to ultimately improve the integrity of the DNA. And this was done for those that were a part of the higher classes, if you will, within that system. It was adorned Within the architectures, within the clothings, gold was utilized as medicine. There were many applications of it. And keep in mind, many of these things were taught to your people. The methods, the means, the ways of using gold in these different areas was something shared. And your species has explored this. It's just not something widely discussed or talked about. But you can find research, even recent research, that investigates gold and its applications in a myriad of different areas.